the 48 laws of black empowerment, we are looking at law number 26. How, why, and when should you invest? This is the encourager. Let's get right into it. At a basic level, the concept of investing is straightforward. We put money at risk in hopes of making a small profit. The following are just a few ways that we can invest our money. Number one, stocks, bonds. Number two, REITs, R-E-I-T-S. Number three, funds. Number four, five, crowd lending. Becoming a successful investor allows us to put our money to work for us, which increases our overall earning potential. Before choosing any kind of investment, we need to educate ourselves about what we plan to invest in. Minimum investment, time it takes to sell the asset, expected return on the investment. How much risk is involved? Tax implications. In addition to the above, we need to educate ourselves on how much to commission, on how much commission or per trade fee is charged whenever we buy, sell, or trade an asset. Other cultures teach their kids about investing at an early age while we embrace a culture of wasteful spending. Much of our wealth has been given away to white clothing designers, white-owned liquor companies, white-owned jewelry companies, white-owned clubs, if we're going to spend our money on their stuff, we should, we should spend owning a piece of the company instead of just being consumers of their products. Dr. Boyce Watkins says, one thing that's true is that whether you are making financial investment or an investment of the heart, you usually get what you give. What's also true is that investing the wrong assets into the wrong places is a great way to end up broke, wow, or broken. Dr. Joyce Boyce with a B. Watkins. This is the encourager. Queen C no longer bound. Let's really do some research and find out how, why, and when we should invest. We'll see you right here next time.